before we even had a fixturing group. My uncle was in charge of the milling department at our own shop. We started putting grid plates and, and tombstones with grids all over everything so that our setups would be quick. We improved our own efficiencies quite a bit, and then we started thinking, well, you know, we should sell this to other people. And that's how Amrock was born. We were really a machine builder. First and foremost, we design and build complex manufacturing equipment. Everything we do is about throughput. It's about more efficient processes. It's about more quality parts per day. When you think about, okay, how to improve beyond that, you have high density work holding and you're getting a lot done. The next step is, okay, how do I reduce the amount of time to change over from one fixture to the next? And that's where automation comes in. It's a natural fit for automation to be the next step when you've already improved the work holding setup. We needed to add to our team people who had the robotic experience, who had the controls knowledge. And my cousin Caleb was working for a custom automation integrator. We needed someone who came from the robotics and automation side to lead this new direction, and he was the perfect fit. So being a third generation family member, the machining aspect has always been in my blood. So I worked at AME for a while, and then I ended up going to a custom automation integrator, and I got really into it. I did a lot of controls, robotics, vision, a lot of programming, and helping concept and design entire automation systems from the ground up. So after a few years, my cousin Nick approached me about coming back to the family business because he wanted to start this new automation division. And after a few months of deliberation, I decided to join. In our automation division, we have two main partners, Trinity, which is a pallet delivery system, and then RoboJob, which is machine tending, so loading the part itself in and out of the machine. The reason this partnership made a lot of sense is because we're a fixture builder, and we're already solving a lot of the same problems that they're trying to solve just in a little bit of a different way. So that collaboration between the fixturing and the automation of getting that part or pallet into the system goes hand in hand. We're a manufacturer at heart. So we're an integrator of these systems, not just a distributor. So we're doing a lot of the legwork and we have a great team already set up for that. So when we work with our customers, we try to understand the work piece first. And that's the basis for everything, whether it's the fixturing end of things or the automation. Taking that approach might bring us to different conclusions. Since we're brand agnostic in our partners we work with and what we manufacture, we're able to actually get the best solution for the customer. For both Trinity and RoboJob, since these are products, the install time is very quick. So on an existing machine, it's usually only a few days, maybe up to a week. So even post-install, we make sure we're heavily involved. We have a strong service network and also remote access to both systems, which allows us to quickly respond to any issues and keep your spindle running. We can focus on all the peripherals around the machine tool and customers can just really focus on critical tasks. And that's why we offer solutions, not projects. Our mission at Advanced Machine and Engineering is simply to make our customers successful. And we knew that this would be the next step to make that happen.